On the morning of December 1st, 2006, people gathered to watch the launch ceremony of the region's first tsunami detection system at the Cape Panwa Pier in Phuket, Thailand. The heart of this system is a deep ocean assessment and reporting of tsunami, in short, DART, buoy which is being deployed through a partnership between the United States and the Royal Thai government as a contribution to the Indian Ocean Tsunami Warning System. The MV Sea Deck set off on her two-day journey to install the first of two DART buoys halfway between Thailand and Sri Lanka at 9 degrees north and 89 degrees east. The DART system consists of a surface buoy that is anchored to the ocean floor and a seafloor bottom pressure recorder which detects tsunami waves that are generated after large undersea earthquakes. An acoustic link is then used to transmit data from the bottom pressure recording system on the seafloor to the surface buoy. Approximately three minutes after an earthquake occurs, the data is sent by satellite to scientists in warning centers throughout the world. The Indian Ocean Tsunami Warning System was established after the devastating tsunami of December 26, 2004. The tsunami was caused by a large magnitude 9.3 earthquake off the west coast of northern Sumatra, Indonesia. Within some tens of minutes, the tsunami reached the coast of several Indian Ocean countries, causing massive loss of life and damage to property. Thailand's National Disaster Warning Center was inaugurated on May 30th, 2005. The Warning Center is staffed 24 hours a day by a multidisciplinary team of experts. The team is responsible for monitoring incoming data, evaluating the intensity and severity of the incident, and assessing the risk of any kind of natural disaster. If the probability of a tsunami incident occurring is high, a warning for high-risk areas around Thailand will immediately be issued via television, radio, email, fax, and SMS messaging. The main department, I think that the main function, more than 90%, is about the weather. We, we do, uh, almost of that is the weather forecast. We try to give the knowledge to the Thai people to know about the word tsunami. And I think that because uh, before 2004, uh, not more than 50 people that know about tsunami in our country. Yeah. But after the 26th December of 2004 until now, I think that everyone knows. The big problem to us is how to let the people know about our announcements, our warning. They have to be prepared. We have to educate the people, not only the local community, but also the authority. Yeah. The local government over there should be prepared for the tsunami warning. Yeah. Education is always uh, is always long-term program. To alert residents and tourists of impending danger, Sirens will be sounded and public warnings in the form of audio recordings in various international languages will be broadcasted 
from the 30 meter high warning towers installed along the beachfront. Within the warning centers, a series of regional and national programs have brought in international experts to ensure the highest possible level of training for the warning center scientists. My name is Suchi Dewa Nugrah and I I in the cover of BMG officer and I study oceanography and the reason I follow this training because I want to study what tsunami early warning but before I study it I think I have to study seismology course and uh, I'm honored to be here to participate in this training because I have uh, a lecture from good professor, from good doctor, and so I can learn seismology much better than when I in campus. The program for an Indian Ocean tsunami warning system has resulted in the development of a fully functioning warning system. While tsunamis still pose a hazard to the countries that surround the Indian Ocean, the level of risk has been greatly reduced.